Hi, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a custom packaging point of purchase display online using AlphaCore Dialing Genius. First thing that you have to do is just go into the uh, register tab and register with the website. It's real easy. They just ask you for your email address and a login username. It takes about 30 seconds to do that. So I'm going to log in here real quick using mine and I just go ahead and say log in and then um, I can go here back to the home site this uh, by default shows me what I've purchased so I'm going to go back here to home by clicking on the AlphaCore site and if you see here along the left has all kinds of categories of different style boxes you can scroll down here you can see all the different styles in the library let's go into a, like a reverse tuck end now you notice most of these look pretty similar. They all look similar folded up, but what the difference is is in things like where the uh, glue tabs located, you know, some of the subtleties of uh, the way the flap is designed, that kind of stuff. So let's go here on a reverse tuck end with locks. Typically what you have in packaging is length width depth um, is how all dimensions are called out. The length should always be bigger than the width, and the depth should be the longest. Um, the reason being is there's a saying that's uh, called deeper is cheaper, because it le uses less material to wrap around. But there's exception to, to these rules. So if I need to change my units, um, I can do that right here. If I want to go from metric to inches, I just uh, click on that button there. It has some default parameters about uh, thicknesses of materials that's what this uh, less than greater than stuff is so I just real easily take and put in the size I want so let's say we want the uh, length of this box or six the width to be three the depth to be let's say eight glue tab that's over here on the side if you notice uh, two on this page it gives you a 2d and a 3d version it also shows you here where these parameters are that I'm typing in here I can Use fractional or decimal, but you have to be consistent and use both. You can't mix and match. So just remember that. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and uh, hit submit here. And then uh, it comes up and says I'm about ready to order this box for $1.50. You know, this probably would take me an illustrator or something like that, you know, 20 minutes to draw. So it's it's just real easy to do this for a buck fifty. Use PayPal for checkout. We all know that's nice and secure and easy. So I just go ahead and say uh, buy now with PayPal and uh, it comes up. So it's really easy. Next thing it's going to ask me to do is log in with my PayPal account. So I'm going to type that in and fast forward here real quick. So I've logged into PayPal and uh, I'm going to take and um, it's asking me for $1.50, so I go ahead and hit continue. It's going to process my payment real fast. So now it's uh, processed my um, payment, and you can see here I've got um, another one of these that I've just made. Um, I made one earlier, a couple days ago, so now I'm just going to go to my second one. And these uh, stay kind of in your in your shopping cart so you can go back in and, and download them but what I do is I click on the download folder and here it gives me a choice of files to download so HPGL that's Hewlett Packard's graphics language that's like to drive one of these automated sample cutting machines DDS2 is format that's used within uh, die making and the packaging industry here in the United States and we also have PDF so that is probably what I'm going to use to go into Adobe Illustrator. Tab Delimited, this is a data file that tells me everything about the design, um, like the overall blank size and inches of rule, and then a uh, CF2, which is another packaging specific file format used a lot in Europe. So let's go ahead and download the PDF first. So I'm just going to click there. You can see it downloads it. I'm going to go down here into my downloads. I double click. That opens it up with Adobe Reader. Let's say, for instance, um, I want to um, take this file and bring it into Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to save it to my desktop there. You can see that the number is 43. So I'm going to not save this. I'm going to 
toggle over here to Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to say File, Open from my desktop, 43, OK, and there you have it, Dye Line. Just a few seconds. It's that easy. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.